What's up everybody, it's Daydreams. Welcome back to the channel, another Clash Royale video. If you're new here, consider subscribing. We do daily videos. We also do daily tournament live streams, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Have a lot of fun. Meet some friends. If you need a clan, you can join LOK if you're over 3,000 trophies. If you're under 3,000 trophies, you can join our uh, family clans. We have two of them and you can get better there as well we are on a big skype group together and we're always sharing videos sharing decks all that good stuff trying to get better that's what you got to do if you want to be a good clan so speaking of good clans i'm using patriots 34 from reddit alpha this is a deck he created and he says it's very good you want to play defense then counter push with the royal giant and um, i had success with it the only thing i've been having trouble with is the damn golem graveyard decks like seriously i'm getting real mad about the graveyard it gets me tilted because can't tell me how can't not tell you how many times i've lost a tower early to a graveyard and then almost came back to win the game or sometimes i do come back and win the game uh i noticed this deck does real well in double elixir and um you know what i decided that from now on if they drop a golem i'm just going to rush with the royal giant because they all have two elixir to deal with it and I can drop, um, I can drop Royal Giant, Archers, Mega Minion, whatever I want, and then his um, Golem will be naked. So it's going to get into some grand challenges. Um, before this, when I was like four and one, and um, I got up to six before I lost, so I'm like three and two with this deck. So or no, I'm three and three, and I've lost to two graveyards. Uh, the first loss was my first game with the deck, and I was playing too aggressively, and then I had no elixir to use the. Oh my gosh, we're playing Backstab from Hammer Esports. This guy's a pro player. He won a uh, Coronation Day. He won a Coronation Day uh, Finals. This is a pro player, and they're putting me up against him. Like, what are the odds? What's he going to rush with? A hog? I bet he's playing like one of these hog cycles. I don't know what to play. So he's playing a knight with the graveyard, which I told you guys I'm really bad with. But... Um, this I would consider a pretty successful defense, really. I did not need to play that Mega Minion, I don't think. No, I didn't. But now he has to answer it. It's a good answer. Please kill one archer. Nice. I'm just gonna leave those archers alone. Uh, pretty close. If I can win this game, guys, uh, I'll, I'll lose my mind. I will lose my mind if I can somehow pull this game off. What do we gotta do here? I don't know. Let's rush. Ah, uh, bad rush, because now I don't have... We're going to let it die. We'll just let it die. We lost one elixir there. I feel like he's not playing elixir. Like, what's going on? I've like got nothing to play. Oh, that would have been a good fireball. Here comes what the uh, fireball? Yep. Go Royal Giant, go Royal Giant, go Royal Giant. Oh, he's got that. I forgot. I didn't hit the tower. That's a mistake that can cost you against a very good player. No. Oh, I meant to pick archers, obviously. Alright, this is bad. I just lost that. I was, um, I think I was ahead in damage even. Oh. 
Well, it's now or never, right? Where's the uh, Inferno? Alright, well I expected to lose that match, but um, I think my log mistake really hurt me. You can't just throw away Elixir like that, because when I use the log, I then had to use the Archers and the Zap just to keep. That's 6 Elixir, nine, 7 Elixir that I lost. Let's get, open up this. No Legendary, that's too bad. Alright, let's give away some more gems. Let's see if they're going to put up us, up, us up against another pro player. We'll go check backstab stats. That's not the way I like to start out a video, but as you know, I do not edit my videos. I like to keep them raw and uncut so you guys can see the, uh, you guys can see what, what's really going on. I don't want you to think I'm, like, invincible. I'm above average, but there's some very good players out there. I don't know what to do here. Can this reach there? That'd be great. Now he played it in a good spot. I hate to push, but you know what? I'm going to push. Look at that fireball. Oh, he's got nothing to support the witch, so she's going to die. Alright. About even in damage. Okay. So this is a weird deck. Furnace, Witch, Princess, Mini P.E.K.K.A. So we're going to need the knight in there to, like, tank, I believe. To, and maybe the maybe the archers. What do I do here, though? Do I split these archers up? Because I really hate letting that happen over there. He just gave us that fireball again. That's good. Look at our, um... Look at our knight got distracted over there. What's up with that? Our knight got distracted. I don't understand that. What is our knight doing? Um, you know, that's part of the deck is the three elixir of the knight. Why isn't he doing anything? Should I even play him? Starting to wonder. Hope he plays his princess at that bridge so I can get that log out of the cycle. I feel like I'm not really using the log. Uh, look, now my... Please uh, focus on the knight. Alright. I don't have the archers to deal with that mini P.E.K.K.A. It's not good. I was going to say, if that, if that happens, I would be so mad. Ah, uh, damn it, I could have pushed the uh, giant off my Inferno, too. We're gonna, like, we're doing alright, and we're about to take that out. And we're about to push here. So we've got archers, and a knight. And he just played a witch at the back. It's okay, we got shots in. No, 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 no. Who? Alright, well, we're doing alright, though. We're doing alright, though. Good. Our, um... Oh, wow, he just did a great zap. Look at that zap. It got that balloon to my tower. Oh, my God. Am I going to lose the game here because of that? I'm going to lose the game because of that, I think. Nice, guys. We barely pulled it out. That was insane. So that one push was very scary. He had a very good zap on my uh, Mega Minion, which took it... I did good positioning getting my Mega Minion to lock onto his balloon, which was a direct counter. And then it allowed his balloon to hit my Inferno Tower, which killed it, which let the Giant live. 
Scary game, man. Scary, scary game. All right, let's try it again. Let's try it again. So we we gotta we can't really count that first match. That's like, you know, a top 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 player in the game. Just you could probably type in backstab his name, backstab X, in uh, in YouTube, and you'll see uh, Coronation Day videos of him just shredding. He just shredded the competition. Probably a bad. Terrible zap, terrible zap, terrible zap. You can't throw, you can't throw elixir away like that and expect to succeed. If I had that elixir, I could have done a lot with it there. All right, right. I don't know what to do here. I wonder if that royal giant could slip on the right side. Might be able to. I should have waited for him to play his golem, but it might be able to slip. Yep, it did too. Oh no, the ice spirit. Archers get some shots in. That's that's worth it. That's all you can ask for out of a uh, royal giant push. Fifteen hundred damage. That's a that's a highly successful royal giant push right there. Problem is, is I can't let these. Uh... I definitely can't let those just keep hitting my tower either. I hope it doesn't spawn anymore. It did. So those are going to hit. It's the perfect distance to... Wow, I'm dead. I should be happy that it's only a thousand left on it. Golem decks are so hard to beat. Like, literally, in these challenges, if you want to just, like, win them, you should really just be playing a golem. I don't think I can hit the right tower from there. Here it is. We just got to rush it. Just might work. Okay, I don't think I can, uh, I do not think I can protect this tower. I think I just gotta do this. No, I can hit that mega minion. I didn't even notice we had that. Doink. So yeah, guys, we beat a golem, and we were down there for a minute. Just think we're starting to get the hang of the deck? Possibly. We might be getting the hang of it. Let's see. If we can win three in a row, we got the hang of it. Let's just let's just give it a shot. Why not? That first one don't even count, really. So we're like 2-0. Like, I'm not going to count one of the best players in the world beating me. Like, I'm not going to be down about that. I need to ask what i do if I've got the World Giant in my starting hand. I'm guessing I'm not supposed to play it. But what about when I've got like a hand like this? I've got terrible cards right now. Like what am I supposed to do? That was like the only thing I could think of. He's doing the same thing. He's cycling like, uh, I don't know. Terrible cards. He's getting his cycle right. What's he playing? Like a zap bait? We'll find out here. You know what? Looks like a good, good a time as any to go in. I don't have my fireball though. I don't think that's good. We'll just go Mega Minion. I'm not gonna get an Inferno out for a naked giant. It's basically a naked giant. I don't know. Was that a good zap or not? I doubt it. I doubt it. It's probably a waste of elixir, and he's probably two to four elixir ahead of me now, which isn't good. But 
unless he's like spying on me he shouldn't know it Okay, we're probably going to play the uh, fireball at the river here. He's going to drop something with that. Archers? No, no. We got a lot of damage in because my... I don't know what to do. Let's try to send in a naked knight, maybe. Is he going to... He'll play a uh, skeleton army. Oh, I tried a predictive skeleton army. Oh, he's... Man, I'm really disappointed about that one. I can't really play my archers, though. Oh, no. Here they come. This is perfect. This is what you want right here. I should have played Zap. What am I doing? I need to get my head in the game. No. Get there. Get there. Wow, we did it, guys. We won three in a row after losing to the best player, one of the best players in the world. Look, just, you know what? I'm about to show you guys on my computer right now. Let me type it in. I'm going to just type it in. Backstab X. I'm just going to type in Backstab X. I think that's how you spell it. Yep. First thing that pops up. Um, backstab wins despite caster's prediction clash royale north american open coronation day four recap so he won coronation day four um here's another one backstab the hog king of northern arena so he was one of the four people chosen by supercell to um be one of the kings at the northern arena so i'm about to tweet him that um he ruined my video and hopefully he'll subscribe for it wow it looks like he's got his own channel he does have his own channel Backstab X. I'll put it in the description, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Remember the teamwork makes dreamwork. Smash thumbs up button. Uh, so far as this deck, I like it. I learned how to play it there in those last three matches. You just got to play it defensive, defensive, defensive. Once you've got a couple of wounded trips to go back, put the Royal Giant in front. And they're going to be low on Elixir and have nothing they can really do. So catch them overextending and just keep playing defense until you really see the opportunity. So yeah, guys, some videos are popping up on your screen right now. Click them if you'd like to watch some more. And yeah, hit that subscribe button in the middle. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.